you give it the big the big radio intro hello everyone this is going to be the first ever doc sesh zoom cast which is a word i've just made up <laughs> so we're here today with laurie nelson Catherine Ward and Kathy Rag, and today we're wanting to talk about positive representations of people with disabilities in the media. So I think the first question is, um, can we think of any famous people with a disability or differently abled? Can you think of anybody, um, Kathy? I'm actually trying to think at a minute. Okay. Well, we've done a little bit of cheating, so we discussed it a bit earlier on. And mm -hmm. can you remember the Royal Variety Show and Britain's Got Talent? There was a gentleman called the Lost Voice Guy. He spoke through his computer. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, so I just couldn't remember his name. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know his name. I just know him as the Lost Bo Lost Voice Guy. Now, I think he is hysterical. Because mm. mm. yes. he talks through his computer. Obviously, it's been sorted out before the show, but he also does positive stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, who were you mentioning, Laurie? So there's a couple of, um, there's a few actors that I know um, in more, like more American stuff. So there's the young man in uh, Breaking Bad, RJ Mit Mitty, I think it's called, pronounced, who's an actor of Cerebral Palsy, who's very good. Um, and there's another, there's an act, another actress who has Cerebral Palsy called Jewel, I, I think she's called. Um, no, Jewel or Pearl or something, let me, I'll find it out. She was in um, the show Deadwood. She's really good. Um, so I, do, I don't really know that many English people because I just watch a lot of American rubbish. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Indian English actress that's gone across there did an NCIS or something. She's got black short hair and she did um, Who Do You Think You Are? In this okay. past series, I'm trying to think who that is, and she's a English actress with a physical disability, and she's gonna cross to do the is it NCIS or on Fox Channel or something? Oh, cool! I don't. I'm not uh, sure. Cool. Yeah. She is called Jewel. That woman. Mm -hmm. Is she? That actress that I was on about. Jerry it, Jewell. Jerry yeah. Jewell, her name is. But I think she just goes by Jewell when she's working. Um, yeah. So, um, again, like Laurie, we're watching a lot of um, American stuff. There's a, an American actor called Eddie Barnbagel. And he's um, has Down syndrome, and he's been in a lot of sort of like raunchy teen comedies, like The Ringer, Hall Pass. I think he's even been in one of the Jackass films. <laughs> this is probably quite an interesting <laughs> example. Is that the guy who's in um, Peanut Butter? I've been in a film. Oh, yeah? Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. What was that? It was called The Remake of the Wicked Lady. Mm. I was <laughs> I was 15, stroke 16. Um, I played a part in a crowd. Um, the scene I'm on, there's a split second that I'm there. I got paid nine pound a day, which I thought was fantastic. At plus of my age, nine pound a day was terrific at that point. Yeah, 
And that, that reminds you actually, um, Kathy's had some experience on the small stage in the limelight, haven't you? Yeah, okay, you, Kathy. If you'd like to tell us more about that, that would be ace. Oh, please do. I've, I've actually been um, on stage at, 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 the, at the Lyceum. Fantastic. I've actually played a part of uh, 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 our own part of King Lear that, that, we did, that, that we've done. Um, I actually pay, played King, one of King, King Lear's daughters. Superb! They were quite oh. evil, weren't they, Kathy? Yeah, I was actually <laughs> quite evil. <laughs> Let's just uh... <laughs> I mean, it's hard to imagine, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but they, they must be the funnest parts, though. Right? <laughs> oh, I think I could imagine Kathy as being evil. <laughs> and it's been rather evil. <laughs> poisoning one of the other this poisoning my sister and then poisoning me himself. <laughs> that sounds wow. very Shakespearean. <laughs> Can you remember a line from it? Uh, uh, not very well, but uh, because I'm, I'm actually doing a show, practicing to do a show at the minute, uh, two, two, two shows at a minute, and I've, <laughs> and I've got to, uh, I've got to uh, be nasty in this one uh, again now and then. Try and be more more good at the end, and then I've got to uh, be. Uh, and then in the other one, I've got to pretend I'm drunk. All oh, right. What are these called? What are these plays called? Fidonia. That's where it is. And then the other one is. Maria Rossini's uh, 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 about Maria, Maria Rossina. Oh, wow. Yeah. Earlier, when we asked to try and think of some people with um, disabilities in the media and on TV and film, we did come up with a handful. But I felt like we were kind of scratching our heads a bit and we had to sort of dig, you know, try and dig deep and think about it. So, you know, if I just said, like, name an actor or an actress, I'm sure a name will pop to your head, like Tom Cruise. So I think what I'm wanting to ask is, you know, do you think it is important that there is, you know, more representation and that next time we ask a question like that, that we can just very quickly just, you know, rattle off like five or ten people? Yes, I, I believe we, we should. There's, there's got to be a casting agency that uh, does people with disabilities somewhere, mm. uh, but they're not being asked. And what annoys me is when they get an able-bodied person to act like a person with a disability, when there are so many actors out there with disabilities that they could easily use. Mm. Mm. Uh, how do you feel about that, Cathy? Uh, certainly, uh, if, when, just because, if, uh, when, just because a person with a disability, uh, a, uh, ha if, just because someone with a disability can, might not be able to do something as, as good, I might just do it a bit slow, slower, but to me, um, there are always ways round it, if you know what I mean. Mm, yeah. So, like, um, well, with, with you saying slower, you know, you can be just as good. Exactly. But a bit, but a bit slower. It's a bit, you know, like we talked about that a lot going back all the time we go to when when Chrissy came. You know, it's it's harder for for actors with disabilities because like you say things aren't put in place to help them whereas so it's they're, they're being kind of disabled by by the industry 
you know, if the industry had proper provisions, then they would just be an actor like everybody else.